Thank you once again for stopping by Creative Ends International. Uh, today I am making a video on how to make a detachable um, Zara cap. So the measurements are already been displayed 20 inches by 2.5. That's what I would be using. That is for my Marco. The material in my hand is called Marco and then I would be using Ankara with a mixture of Zara, um, I'm sorry, with a mixture of Ashoke. So I have videos on Zara caps. So the major emphasis on this particular video now is how to make the detachable one. That is the Zara cap that you can actually open. You can actually open it up and then you don't need to bother about head size. Either it can fit in or not since it is detachable. So the first step is wrapping it with the Ankara. Remember the length of the um, Marco is 20. So 20 will not be big enough to go around the head. You know, normal head size for adult is usually between that uh, 20 to 22 so we assume that 20 cannot actually because after closing it is going to get smaller so because of that we know that 20 cannot actually fit into the head so it too, it will be too small so you can even do 18 but for me 20 is perfect because you can adjust it as small as possible it can even fit into the head of a little child so that we don't get that one messed up so i have wrapped this part like this you can see that i have extra fabric where i'm holding there and even on the other side i also have extra fabric there is a reason why i did that i would fold that edge that is on both sides and then I would be sewing it against the ashoke that I would be adding at the back because that is where the opening is going to be formed from. So this is the ashoke. You have to ensure that the ashoke is longer than the marco, at least with 5 inches to the left and 5 inches to the right. That is, do you get me? It should be like five inches to the left, five inches to the right. So if your marco is uh, 20 inches, it then implies that your ashoke should be uh, 30, that is having five, five extra, or it can be 32, having uh, six, six extra on both the left and the right. So we are going to fold it in a way that it would be smaller it will be smaller than the size of the marco. Remember that the size of this marco is 2.5. So when we finish folding, we should be having about 2 inches or even less than 2 inches because it's supposed to fit into the marco and not be showing on any side. Do you get me? So that's just it. So we fix the vacuum tape on the uh, back and front to enable us you understand just like this put it together so with this the cap become adjustable so we are going to now glue this one to the uh, uh, prepared marker so we are going to be gluing it to the marker so to do that it would be of great importance that you care about how smooth it should end so because of that i would go ahead to my sewing machine after pinning it and so just one part of the um just one part of the marco against the ashoke so that would enable me to open it up and then glue it very flat before i will conclude on the other part but when you conclude this is how it will look because i'm just using a pin to show you what it will look like at the uh, finishing. So this is it. So you can see that middle there needs to be glued. Yes, we are going to use hot glue 
on that part to make sure we put it down so this is how it becomes adjustable so apart from this one major challenge would be how do we cover because this is not just a band it's going to be a cap so we are supposed to cover uh, the top but um, I just find out that that video I think that part was omitted and I couldn't find it so I'm going to be explaining with my mouth when it, when we get to that part I'm just going to explain it because that video is missing so I'm just going to explain it was while editing I find out that video is missing I don't know if I did not record it but don't worry I would be explaining properly all right so you can see that I just sewed one part now and after sewing that part I opened it up and then I started gluing bit by bit the reason is to ensure that the part that I am gluing to the marker is smooth if I had finished sewing before gluing I might not be able to get the extent of the smoothness that I am getting from this one so that's the reason I had to sew one part and then glue so I'm going to still sew that part anyway so this is how we come out with it so now we are going to cover it so I cut out um, 12 by 12 inches I cut out 12 by 12 inches so we are using 12 by 12 remember the Ashoke length is 12 on uh, is 6 so when you join to it will give you 12 but the length I am using itself is 12 so we just join it together and use it to cover so this is the part of the video that i said went missing and i don't really know why okay so um what i did was to leave this back i'm about to open now you, you know how to cover your your zara cap before so when you're covering you are going to uh skip the part at the back you are not going to glue it at all so that will, that's just it you leave that part and then you glue the remaining part so since you did not glue that part it will enable you to open and close the belt yes you can open and close it so that's the part that was omitted that's just all all right so after uh, apart from that every other thing remains the same so we just trim the use our elastic to do the finishing on that part that is cover all rough edges with the elastic it's quite simple anyway so after that the next thing we would be doing is the design so if you look closely you will see the Ankara fabric is already sewn I also omitted that video it was a mistake I couldn't find it so we are cutting out the uh, 12 inches to form the bow with the Ankara so after that 12 inches I would be adding the um, I'm sorry 12 inches to form the bow with Ashoke after that 12 inches I would be adding the Ankara to it the Ankara what I did because that video is also missing is that I cut out about 5 to 6 inches of fabric for the width and then the length about 12 inches so after that I sewed it close so when I close I turn it over to get the right side out and then I fix in Creloni inside it I do hope that you know what Creloni is if you don't just like browse and say picture of a Creloni you will see it so I fix in Creloni to make it firm and then after that I just like form a smaller bows with it so that I can attach it to the back of the um, to the back of the cap and I would be showing you how to attach it to the back of the cap because it is necessary so that you do not make mistakes 
so that you do not make mistake with it. All right, so you just see that for me to form this single uh, style of bow, I just like make loose stitches, just loose stitches and pull it together. And I just got about four of the Ashoke bow. Uh -huh. Then I sew it together. So please, this is how I fix to the cap. I have to open the cap up. And then use the part that is the top part and sew the bow to it. Only the top part. So while you are sewing anything, ensure that the cap is opened. If you do not open it up, you might end up making a mistake of attaching your cap together and it will no longer be a detachable cap. Remember that. So it's very necessary that you ensure that it remains detachable like this huh all right so this is the ankara i explained Krilone is inside the size is five inches and then when you close you will end with something about 2.3 or 2.2 um, because you know you are going to use a part of it to to sew it close so that's why you will no longer have 2.5 that is will no longer be 5 in you know the 5 when you fold it will be 2.5 but when you sew out of it you just use a tiny part of it to sew out of it okay so this is all for our today's tutorial i do hope you enjoy your class thank you for stopping by